Hey everyone, so in this video we're just going to create a Python client that will be able to consume or pull down information on our Minio S3 storage. So just to go through it really quickly, um, because we have talked about it in previous videos, we've spun up uh, an instance of Minio. It's a, it's a Docker container that's running locally and we've just created one bucket um, and with inside this one bucket uh, we've called it bucket one we have a file and that file is called test file one two three dot text and within that text file there's just simply uh, a short little message and we can see it says this is a test file so now that we have that up and running um, we have tested it out with things like Postman before, where we can go and try and request this file and, and then we can see the contents of it. And we can see that by this here. And we talked about how there was a need for an access key and a secret key because this bucket um, within Minio, this bucket one is protected. So it does have to be supplied with some sort of authentication to get access to the file. So we're going to do something very similar today. I'm just going to expand this. We're going to do something very similar today, but rather than just using something like Postman, we're going to use a programming language so that we can access this file. And then once we have this file uh, within Python or within Java, or whatever you're using, then you have the ability to do whatever you want with that file. So, for example, you know, if we have the file that we can view it via curl command or via postman, it's it's okay. You can you can view files or whatever. But let's say we had many text files that we had up on Minio, and we wanted to go and analyze those text files. So we wanted to go and parse through them we wanted to look for some particular type of information or you know anything you can imagine you really need it in some sort of environment where you can go and view that data and manipulate that data uh, programmatically so that's our plan for today today we're going to be using python so i'm going to be using pycharm because it's it's the python uh, ide that i'm most familiar with but of course this this um syntax it will work with any IDE you want to use, you don't even have to use an IDE. So the first thing that I want to maybe direct you towards is the website where I've found this information here. So if I just drag this onto the screen now, this is where I started doing some research. So within the, within the it's actually the, the Python documentation, the Python AWS documentation, there's this library within Python called BOTO3, uh, B-O-T-O-3. So we need to import this Python package using pip or, or something like that. And then we need to provide it some variables. So this is what you would use for AWS. And you more or less use the exact same thing for Minio, but since Minio is a little bit different to AWS, I had to go and find uh, another little bit of documentation just to provide a little bit more detail. And this is the Minio documentation. So you can, if you look at these you, yourself, um, if you're interested, you will see that they both use the same Python package. Um, Bot03 or, or however you pronounce it and when we're creating our resources we do something very similar we have our endpoint URL we have our AWS key we have our secret access and you'll see even within Minio when we're using it it refers to the key and the, the access key and the secret key as an AWS uh, key so we can we can simply just copy this and I'll leave these links in the description if you're interested to maybe read a little bit about it or um, follow along with it. So 
I'm just going to take this off the screen now. And I'm going to open up uh, our play charm again. So I'm just going to paste this straight in here. Now, there may be a couple of things we need to change. So the URL endpoint in the documentation, it used 9000, and that's the port that we're using. So that's, that's perfect. Now, the, the access key will be would be a little bit different. It wasn't actually provided here, but I'm just going to open up ours here. So this was our key here. So I'm going to just copy this and put that in there. So it does go in within within quotes. So it's not just a number. It's it's taken in as a string. And then if I go back here and I grab the password copy that or the access key as it's called and put that in then we've got this config so this stays exactly the same and then we have our region and the region stays exactly the same as well so one thing we need to do is we need to actually import this library so in in PyCharm, it's quite nice. It, it gives you the prompt to just go and import it like this. Now, you could also do the same on the command line like this. You could type in pip install and then put in the name of whatever package you want. So, you know, like this. But we don't need to do that. But if you're using something different, maybe maybe try that, that pip command instead. Okay, so now that we have got that, we can now go back to the, the documentation. So if I just flick back here, you can see for us to upload a file, this is what we would do. But in this example, we're going to download a file because we have actually manually uploaded a file before in one of our other videos. So we're just gonna go and copy this here. So I'm going to copy this and open back up by charm and paste it back in here. And you can see that S3 is our variable, our bucket. So this is going to have to be our bucket name. So our bucket name is bucket one. So, uh, and if you're wondering where bucket one is coming from, uh, we we go back to our, our minio here. This is our bucket name, bucket one, and then our text file is here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that because we're also gonna need that name in a second as well. So we're we know that we have to go to bucket one, and then we want to mention the name that we want to download. So it's test file one, two, three, and then this is the path where we want to download it on our local machine. So you could give the full path to, you know, let's say if you wanted to download it somewhere on your local machine that's outside this project structure, um, you can mention the, the, whole, the whole path, but uh, for this, I'm happy enough for it just to be within my structure here. So I'm just gonna give it a file name, and just to maybe call it something a little bit different, but I'll call it something pretty similar. So I'll take that away and I'll just call it test file one, two, three, four. So rather than just having it one, two, three. And now if I run this, I probably were having an issue with just this config here I see. So this is just another, uh, library that we need to import and that looks pretty good now i think so we'll give this a run and see what happens so at the minute you can see we've just got this test s3 access.py file we've got nothing else so we're hoping to see our our text file that's up in minio to be downloaded here um, when we run this so if we just run this, we can see that our file has been populated and it's called it uh, test file 
text, but this could be anything. So if I change this to anything.txt and run this again, you can see now we've got two files. And if we open up test file, uh, it says this is a test file. And if we open up anything, this is also uh, the exact same content. So that's really just a really quick and easy way in which you can pull down S3 objects of any type of file. It could be an image, it could be a text file, it could be a YAML file, it could be you know whatever you can think of just using these two Python libraries here. And it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple and quick to do. And I will leave the links to the documentation down in the description if you want to just, you know, copy, copy and paste the, the code yourself. So I hope you've gained something from the video. Uh, if you liked it, you know what to do.